Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing leave-in spray for massive hair growth and healthy hair. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss out any useful information. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Grab a seat and let's get into it. The first ingredient you're going to need is parsley. So I washed my parsley off camera. I'm going to go ahead and cut it into small pieces. So the reason why I'm cutting the parsley is because I'm going to be doing the infusion method, okay? I'm going to be adding it to my mason jar. So I need all my ingredients to fit into the mason jar. Parsley is loaded with vitamins and minerals such as vitamin A, C, E and K. It also contains vitamin B6, B12 and iron, which is important for hair growth and healthy hair. It repairs damage done to the hair follicles as well as the scalp. It nourishes the hair follicles and encourage healthy hair growth. It also helps to maintain the oil balance in the scalp. Too much oil build up on the scalp can block the hair follicles and prevent hair growth. Parsley also condition the hair and improve production of collagen, which is essential for hair growth. The next ingredient you're going to need is mint leaves. Again, I washed my mint leaves off camera. I'm going to go ahead and cut it into small pieces. Mint leaves help to remove dandruffs. It fights against hair fall. It's amazing at treating oily scalp. It also helps in reducing hair breakage and give a natural shine to your hair. It goes, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. Next ingredient I'm going to be adding to this hair growth spray is rosemary leaves. Rosemary leaves is amazing for hair growth. Is one of my favorite natural ingredients for hair growth. It helps to stimulate hair growth. It treats scalp issue and treat hair loss. I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of fenugreek seed into the mason jar. I purchased my fenugreek seed from Amazon. Fenugreek seed is also very beneficial for your hair. It prevents hair loss. It fights against dandruffs. It controls scalp inflammation. It's amazing for damaged hair. It adds shine to your hair and it prevents premature gray hair as well. I'm going to leave all the ingredients in my description box. I went ahead and add oat water to the mason jar. I'm going to allow it to infuse for 12 hours, okay? You can infuse it longer. It all depends on preference. And if you don't like this method, you can do the boiling method instead. As for me, this method is fine. I'm not in a hurry to use this spray, okay? So if you want your spray right away, I would suggest do the boiling method instead. So both methods are equally effective, okay? Just pick whatever method you like. So this is how it looks like once I'm done adding the hot water. I close the mason jar and I'm going to place it in a corner for 12 hours. After 12 hours, this is how it looks like. As you can see, the color has changed and you can tell it has infused properly. I went ahead and strained it out. Oh my goodness, guys, this smells amazing. The mint and the rosemary leaves smells amazing. So the color should look something like this. As you can see, the fenugreek seed has double in size. At this point, you can go ahead and add your essential oil, okay? I'm going to go ahead and add few drops of tea tree essential oil. You can add any essential oil that you like. Now I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to my applicator bottle for easy use. You can apply this hair growth spray as an air rinse, but to get the best benefit, I would suggest use it as a leave-in conditioner instead. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys two ways in which you can apply this leave-in conditioner to your hair to boost hair growth. Hold up, baby, I can't sit 
the first way in which you can use this leave-in conditioner spray is on your edges so I just went ahead and spray it to the edges. You can apply it to your edges every other night. You can also apply it to your hair every day. It all depends on your schedules. I know how time consuming this hair journey can be. I personally apply it on my kids hair every day. So as I said before, it all depends on how flexible your schedules are. I know it can be overwhelming, with natural hair so do whatever works for you i went ahead and massaged the edges for a few minutes this is very important to do whenever you are experiencing hair loss in your edges it's one of the fastest way to grow your hairline as well as your crown section and the back of your hair the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mix jamaican black castor oil and virgin air fertilizer together I'm going to mix both ingredients together then i'm going to apply it to the edges hair fertilizer is one of the best thing you can use to grow your edges within a month if you do this consistently you are going to see improvement in those areas i apply jamaican black castor oil and virgin hair fertilizer to the entire edges then i went in and massage it in scalp massage is very important because it helps to stimulate hair growth so the second way you can apply this leave-in conditioner is whenever you have a protective style as you can see, she has a simple protective style, which is twist. I applied the leave-in conditioner to the entire twist, and then I went in and massaged the scalp. So make sure the hair is fully saturated with the leave-in conditioner spray. I would suggest you should do this every other night, okay? So don't forget to apply it to your edges, your crown section, and the back of your hair. Then I went in and massaged it in again. I also apply it to the ends like so. You can use this leave-in conditioner spray to moisturize your hair when you are done washing your hair. Once I'm done applying it to the entire hair, I seal it moisture by applying my DIY ginger hair butter and star anise and Indian M's. If you want to know how I made this ginger hair butter and star anise Indian hems, do check out my channel. I also have other hair growth butter and oil you may be interested in. So do definitely check out my channel. So remember to always seal in moisture whenever you apply leave-in conditioner spray to your hair. If you don't, your hair is going to dry out within few hours. So please make sure to seal in moisture whenever you apply leave-in conditioner spray. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section if you have any question for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.